Yo, what's going on, everybody? It is straight out of Boston here and staying back for episode number 14 of my Chicago Bears franchise series here on Madden NFL 17. So starting out this video with some scouting, looking at the wide receivers in this year's upcoming draft class. I kind of I put off looking at the wide receivers. It's not really going to be um, a focal point for what I look to upgrade this offseason, but certainly something that could use upgrading. I mean, we have Cornelius and Jeffrey, I think, who have established themselves as our number one and number two receivers moving forward. But, you know, it is important to have depth at that spot. So we're taking on the Detroit Lions in this episode, taking a look at their roster right there. They sport a pretty good roster. Um, their record isn't that great, but, you know, they've also been without Matt Stafford now for a few weeks. He's been out with that foot fracture, and they're without Golden Tate. So missing some weapons on offense, taking a look at the playoff picture right there. But now it's time to send it over to a rainy soldier field where we have got Lions and Bears action here. Jimmy Clausen dropping back on third and seven from the Chicago 49, and he actually converts there, finding Theo Riddick out of the backfield. Now Clausen, another third and long. This time he's going to get sacked. It is none other than Willie Young once again coming up, making a big play on a third down as he has seemed to do a lot in the second half of this season so far now on offense trying to get things going it's adcock hitting cornelius over the middle who gets dragged down by the face mask so tack on another 15 yards to that game and that is going to give us the ball into lines territory now first and 10 from the 42 adcock looking over the middle he's got his man and it is kendrick backman the third string tight end getting run as the backup now with zach miller out with that broken wrist Jordan Howard running up the gut for a gain of five. Now Adcock on second down gets rid of it quickly, and it's Peterman going to the right side. He's got a gain of 14, and Adcock is 5 of 5 to start this game. Now first and 10 from the 10. He's looking over the middle. He's got Kenny Stills, and Stills is tackled into the end zone, and the Bears are on the board first. They will take an early 7 to nothing lead. Adcock 6 of 6 on that drive, and does get the passing touchdown. Now third and 1 on the next drive. It's Jordan Howard on the play action fake, gets the toss out of the backfield, and ends up getting the first down now later in the same drive, third and two. Howard on the handoff this time, up the middle. He's going to gain 12, and he is off to a good start today, as well as the whole offense clicking early on here from Soldier Field. That one was almost intercepted on first and goal. Adcock maybe got away with one right there. Now two plays later, it's third and goal. It's a handoff to Howard, who cannot get in. He is stopped short, and the Bears will have to settle for a field goal. Connor Barth is out for the 20-yarder, and his kick is up. And it is good. So here we go. Now later in the second, it's a 10 to 3 ball game now. And that one's intercepted. DeAndre Levy with the interception. He is going the other way. 30. He will finally be brought down at the 28 yard line. But a big change of events right there. This gives the Lions fantastic field position. Now their rookie backup is in. But check out the play by Taz Brandon on second and one right there. Nice breakup. That sets up third and one. And on third and one from the 19, Doring looking over the middle this time. He converts. It's Marvin Jones Jr. with the catch. And that's going to give the Lions the ball inside of the 10-yard line now. 90 seconds or so to play. It's a play action fake. Doring looking. He's hit pretty hard. And he is brought down. Pernell McPhee got there with, I think that might have been Lamar Houston or Willie Young perhaps, with the uh, combined sack now later in the same drive. Third and goal. He stopped short of the goal line. So another field goal attempt for the Lions. They get their second of the day. And it's going to be a 10-6 ball game now late in the first half. We have about a minute left. And we're going to see if we can get some more points on the board here. Try and go back up by 7. 50 seconds to play now. Adcock dropping back, looking over the middle. He's got Peterman in man coverage, running east to west right there, trying to gain some extra yards. And now we've got the ball all the way to the 41-yard line. 35 seconds to play. I'm going deep. And it is Jordan Howard out of the backfield. He was lined up to the left and actually beat his man off the line of scrimmage right there and it makes the catch for the big gain. And then Howard would eventually punch it in later by the goal line making it a 17-6 ball game at the half. Now late in the third quarter, still the same score. We're looking end zone again, and it's Alshon Jeffrey making a fantastic catch, and that's going to put us up by a full 18 points. That makes it a three-score game as we have really opened this one up on Detroit. Now later in the fourth quarter, here we are, Kendrick Backman making that third down grab, picking up 13 yards, keeping the drive alive, and then here we go, third and seven from the eight-yard line. Nowhere to go with it. I dump it off to Langford, who stopped well short. So we settle for another field goal, our second of the day. Barth, this time from 25 yards. He is successful two for two on the day. We go up 27 to six, and that would be your final score. So a dominating performance by the Chicago Bears, performing well really on all three facets of the game. Not too much to say about special teams, but offense and defense were both really good. Now, obviously, this comes with the caveat. I mean, we were playing a rookie quarterback and Jimmy Clausen, so, you know, 
it should be expected that a defense held them to only six points, but at the same time, you know, holding them to only six points and keeping them out of the end zone, I think is a successful day. And then on offense, you know, we played pretty consistently throughout all four quarters, so I was really pleased. Adcock was 24 of 27, two touchdowns, and an interception, 252 total yards. Howard had a nice day on the ground, 116 yards on 29 carries, including the touchdown. Through the air, it was Jeffrey, per usual, leading the way with seven grabs and a touchdown. Peterman also had six grabs for 72 yards. And defensively, we saw uh, three lines leading the way in tackles, but... In terms of the pass rush, it was all uh, Bears right there. You saw McPhee, Houston, and you see Brandon getting an interception along with Kyle Fuller. So our defense are really making plays all day long. But that's going to do it. Hope you guys enjoy. Thanks for watching. And I'm out. Peace.